time to time, but how do we go about handling anxiety? Well, Dr. Leonard Rose has written a book which he believes will not only help people cope with anxieties, but many other problems as well. We welcome Dr. Leonard Rose this morning. Good morning, Doctor. Good can morning. I call you Leonard? You can call right? me anything. Okay. Oh. <laughs> how are you? Fine, thank you. Now, that, you don't just deal with anxiety in the book, do you? No, But that's we what don't. you're going to tell us about today. What are the most common anxieties and phobias? I think the most common anxiety is simply just feeling uneasy, feeling uh, nervous, uh, feeling the agitated tummy, the butterflies, palpitations, uh, and circumstances where you wouldn't expect to feel a bit nervous. Now, it, there's a lot of friends that, or my mum's got lots of friends who get, go through this. Is it common with women or more common with men? I think it's common right through men and women, boys and girls, right through almost from infancy. We, we become anxious about lots of things through our lives and uh, some of these anxieties are more serious than others. Some of them lead us to go to doctors and ask for tranquilizers or mm. be given tranquilizers. Others we just put up with and just Is it this day and age that makes us like this? I think it's uh, because we've graduated from the caves. When we were all cavemen, we knew what our dangers were. We knew what to look for. We knew that there was a saber-toothed tiger out there or that mm. someone was going to come along and bump us on the head. These days we just go through life and there are pressures on us all the time and those pressures aren't being answered the way that we used to answer them in the past. Well, how do we cope with them? Well, I think the most simple way of coping with them is to learn to relax. Mm -hmm. Most of us have forgotten how to relax. Uh, relaxation should be a normal, <laughs> should be a normal process, but for lots of us, it's something that we really have to learn. We have to learn to do over and over again. And what we've tried to do in the book is to point out a number of ways in which people can learn to relax. Yeah, I noticed in uh, just uh, having a look here, you're talking about go to a quiet room with soft lighting, shut the door, sit in a comfortable chair, or lie in a comfortable position and let your eyes close. That's right. Come aware of your breathing and all that. Simply, simply closing your eyes for a few moments and thinking about a place, some special place in your mind which is, uh, has a meaning to you. It can either yeah. be somewhere from your past or from the present. It could be down by the riverside just watching the, mm. watching the river go by. It could be uh, sitting in a comfortable room looking at fire. It said looking at the yeah. fire. But to any, nice any special place which has a meaning to you can be recreated inside your mind. And what we've talked about in the book is the, the mirrors of the mind, the way that we see things inside our heads yeah. and how we can change those, uh, those pictures. We talk about phobias and all that. You know, I went through a stage for nearly two years where I, uh, I wouldn't leave the house at all. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't work, wouldn't do this a few years ago now, but uh, ten years ago. And I had this terrible phobia that if I went outside that I'd die. Well, have this, you come across that sort well, of thing? This is people? agoraphobia. This yeah. is the classical picture of agoraphobia where people do have this fear of open spaces, of, uh, of going out, etc. And it can be an absolutely crippling thing, as you, as mm. you obviously found out. Mm. But it can occur in, in, minor, in minor forms as well. People can have phobias about going into lifts. Uh, I mean, yeah. At the moment in Melbourne, there's good reasons for women to be phobic about going into yeah, lifts. Right. But yeah. the fact is that for many people, there's no obvious reason why they should be fearful of, say, going out into an open space or going out into crowds. Uh, people have fears about spiders. We talk about one particular lady in the in the book who had a spider phobia and how she overcame that. And there are many don't different they phobias. With spiders, don't they put them on your hand and make you touch no, them and no, everything? No, not not at all. You can you, you can do a lot of what what people would think about exposure by using your mind. We can create the pictures in our minds. We can create a a list of circumstances in which we feel more phobic and less phobic and then gradually become, through relaxation, mm. able to cope with those things in our minds and then we can expose ourselves to them in, in real life. Yeah, you're really saying that it's what I, what's up here can fix us. I'm saying that, I, yeah, I think, that's, I think the motor is up here and I think that we have the ability to change the way that we see ourselves in the world. We, we have the ability to see ourselves achieving almost anything. We've lost that ability as we've grown older. As kids, we were all Buck Rogers or Batman. We were mm. all able to do anything at any time. But as we've grown older, society's beaten that out of us and we're now sort of, we've lost that ability. What I'm saying Just is with some of us. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is that we, ha we should have the ability to create those pictures in our minds again so that we can do anything we wish to. Mm. Oh, that's it. We can, you can, you can do anything you want to. If you want to, if you want to do it hard. Anything. Like what about the fears of flying? Can you f uh, mm. help people in that sort of area? You know? Well, at the moment, there's not much need to do that, is no, there? No, that's true. <laughs> but, 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 but there the, might be one What causes day? a fear of flying? Well, there are lots of things. I mean, uh, every day we're exposed to planes falling out of the sky, tails blowing off, and terrible disasters in the air. And there are a lot of people who 
take those things on board and if you like they're, they're more sen sensitive and susceptible than other people mm. and they become anxious about it you can learn how to overcome that fear of flying through a process which involves again using relaxation learning first of all a relaxation technique that works for you or doing self-hypnosis if that works better for you than yeah. relaxation mm. and then by using imagery by using the imagination provide yourself with a series of less threatening episodes leading right up to the time you get onto the plane and then once you're on the plane you practice relaxation again and you can make a plane flight go very rapidly yeah. it doesn't always work but it can work for a lot of people mm. That's I should try that one out you know you have to you get worried about it see I think I'm a fatalist I think he's well in a way I am I think that man up there has got his book and when he wants you, that's it. Doesn't matter what you do. Yeah, but I also say if that man wants to fly, he would have given us wings. <laughs> oh, no. I was watching a horse being exercised the other day, and I said to Glenn, I said, they shouldn't have a horse in the water. A horse is not supposed to be in water. And she said, neither are we. You know? Horses love the water. Yeah, I know, but I, uh, I guess, you know, that's all in the mind, isn't it? The that's whole right. thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, mirrors of the mind, that's your, your new book. Can he have that, please, that book? Yes, he, he can have that book. Can I read it? <laughs> 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 It'll do me good. Thanks very much, Lynn. Yeah. Thank you. Well, here's the